Ooh, what's up guys, and of course, welcome to another video from me, The Scarender. Um, today we're actually going to talk a bit about Hoopa. Um, as you guys may or may not know, this guy is actually going to be legal on Saturday, or July 18th, to be more correct. So basically I'm going to show you some moves, we're going to talk about the Pokemon itself. Uh, I'm sure you guys have some idea what Hoopa is. Um, it is um, Ghost Psychic Pokemon, which is very, very unique um, in its typing and, of course, being actually not the strongest of legendaries, really. Um, it actually is quite unique that it is like a 600 base Pokemon um, in its regular form. Yes, we got two forms on this, and that's a four times effective move. Yeah, not that, that showed. By the way, we got one interesting move, which is Hyperspace Hole in its um, bonnet form or confined form. And basically what that move does is hitting through any protects, detects, or you no know, king shield and so on and so forth. And like I said, 600 base, not really that unique. We could talk about that, its stats a little bit. Um, like I said, it's 600 base and it isn't... The Titan alone isn't really that... Um, that sexy, <laughs> to be honest. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna show you guys, um, what do we know? <laughs> there we go. Um, so like I said, not that sexy when it comes to um, weaknesses, which four times weakness to dark, and because it has four times weakness to something else, um, it hasn't. No. Uh, that's good. Like I said, it's um, actually a psychic ghost, uh, so very interesting typing. Uh, it actually is four times weakness to ghosts, you just forgot about that. Never mind. Um, like I said, its moveset is quite generic. Uh, hyperspace hole uh, hits through protections of lead. So, very, very good. Um, definitely unique. Uh, its stats, it's, it's an 80 in uh, its base attack or HP. Attack is 110. Um, 60 in defenses, which is terrible. Uh, 150 special attack, which is brutal. Same goes with special defenses. Uh, it's basically a, a Gudra, thinking about it, with less HP and less defense uh, and more special attack. It is very similar to Gudra, to be honest. Um, well, that's a thing. It still has one. The thing that makes it unique is that um, with Aura's release, it got actually a new form, which was an unbound form. Basically, you use a bottle that is called Prism Bottle. Uh, you can get it in any Pocket Mart once you have a hoop on your theme. And um, you can just get it, um, and it unbound the Pokemon, and you learn another attack, which is called uh, Hyperspace, also something, uh, Hyperspace Fury. It's basically it's a close combat, um, uh, but a dark type move to it, and it ignores, of course, uh, protects and defects uh, there too. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys that form. I press the right buttons, there we go. <laughs> so anyway, basically like I said, gonna use that prism bottle. And, and now we change form. I know you guys aren't seeing that whatsoever. Um, let's see if we can actually get a better picture of him through the status screen. We cannot. Like you see, it's a side ghost and um, OT is AR as in action replay for people who are wondering. This is a very, very legit Hoopa. Uh, it's very, very, very legit. It's um, it's shark or you no know, power saved really. And so anyway, what makes the unbound form really, really unique is that it it's much more aggressive. Uh, so we're gonna learn it the hyperspace fury move, so you guys get to see that. Uh, also, when you push this uh, Pokemon back to uh, its um, its box, or if you put it in a box after this, uh, the Pokemon will change form back to the, the confined Hoopa. So that's worth knowing about it. So it, if you are using Prism Bottle, you're not locked to this form. And we don't know the TRS of now. Uh, both form has 80 base in speed and 60 base in defenses. So it's very likely that even the unbound form will actually stay in OU. Um, it's still it's it's very powerful, 
Um, and it has access to the moves that I really like, like you know, Wonder Room and stuff like that. Um, so we just have to find out. And I yet again forgot to switch these two guys around, did I? Um, right, like that, I'm just gonna show you guys Hyperspace Fury. Um, I really think Koopa is a cool looking Pokemon. It's very massive, um, to say the least. It's very massive. Damn, that tournament is really pissed. Right, here's the hyperspace for you guys. For your enjoyment. That HP bar moves so slowly, I wasn't sure I was gonna kill it. That would be incredible. Um, and it functions like close combat, so if the Pokemon survives that hit, um, it is actually going to. Um, um, lower defenses really. So anyway, let's talk a little bit about the uh, other form here, the, the um, not confined form, the unborn form. Um, much like the other form, like I said there, it still keeps those bad stats. Rather, you get 10, uh, a boost in speed by 10, uh, which is incredibly bad in uh, the higher tiers. Uh, 60 base, yeah, you know exactly what that means. It, this guy can't take a U-turn with the new type in that it is, uh, much like Malamar, really, with the Psychic Dark type, it can't take a go or a Bug type move. It hits naturally with a lot of things, it's weak to Fairy, which is not gonna kill it, and like I said, it's weak to Bug, like, very weak to it. But it gets some massive stats with, you know, the, of course, the attack with 160, uh, special defense being 170, and of course, special defense being 130. Um, so you can utilize yourself really well. And the reason I actually decided to mention moves like Wonder Room, um, I'm just gonna show you guys on the screen here. Um, I was supposed to do that before, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, here you guys can see the stats. I'm really sorry, I should just have fixed that. Anyway, um, the moves it learns, it learns a lot of great moves, a lot of physical moves. Uh, where it gets access to the likes of Wonder Room. Wonder Room changes its defenses, uh, which actually means that if you predict that your opponent can switch into something that uh, could, um, what do you call it? Um, it changes the physical attack, you go for Wonder Room and get those 130 in regular defenses instead. Kind of works, it's a last effort thing really. Uh, the things I do recommend here in the future is that it has actually Drain Punch, you get access to the, a lot of punches in general with Ice Punch, Fire Punch. Um, you get access to Knock Off, I think it learns that naturally. Um, you could slap on an Assault Vest on this and get this thing really, really bulky and Drain Punch back to HP as good as possible. And have Psy Shock um, or a special move in general just to hit um, the things that could wall physical hits really. Um, Look into its stats. It got unique stats. It have even have access to Thunder Wave, I guess, to it could catch something off guard with that. Um, but besides that, it's got access to Charge Beam, which would be extremely mean to pull off. Focus Blast, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, Thunder Bolt. Um, so a lot of good special moves. Like I said, the defenses on it is what really kills it or makes it hard to use. But also get access to Destiny Bond and being a slow Destiny Bond Pokemon, uh, you can actually pull off a Trick Room team with him if you know that your team is generally slower than uh, your opponent, or definitely like if you know that, mo if, or rather if you don't see any Fair Forms, you, you could probably go for that Trick Room. So pulling a Destiny Bond and then go Trick Room would be really nice. But then it would be locked to two stabs, um, and I guess we have to work from there. I mean, it's going to be open to a meta game. I guess it will be that. I think I read Monday, um, so it's gonna start off in OU, and we're probably gonna find out where that really ends, and if they're gonna separate them or not. Uh, the unborn form definitely is a stronger one, obviously. Two on six on eighty. I mean, that's the level of finger equation you two in the regular form, and being that it has an item on that too means that it's fairly strong. So I'll definitely say that this guy, without a doubt, is gonna be Uber. Uh, but um, confined form, is, I think it's gonna stay OU. I think it goes so low as you you do to its four times weakness to Ghost and Dark, which is so common. 
Um, but yeah, with all that said, guys, that will be actually all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you got something out of this. Um, like I said, it's going to be the release here on Saturday, and um, it is going to be interesting to see this guy actually kicking in. Um, it's like I said, it's a very unique Pokemon. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys the um, Hyperspace Fury once again. Since this is a movie that probably we won't see <laughs> once in the future, it's very likely. So, I'm gonna take care of that swap I can't believe I'm still not switching around the Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure that this guy is not gonna kick in with. In any regular, regular TS whatsoever. Sure, being weak to U turn is bad, but um, if that is its only weakness, then you know, it, it's not that bad. It isn't. And then the future Pokemon has a lot to prepare for, but this guy is out for blood. And that move is really cool. So, you guys, I want to thank you for watching all the sports. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky's the limit. And I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care. Bye.